Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Angling Unleashed. In this video, I'm going to be going over a little bit of an upcoming event that will be happening in about one and a half, two weeks, and an um, and an unboxing. So let's go. Um, first upcoming event that it's about in one and a half weeks, two weeks. Um, that is going to be me and my dad and my brother are going to be going to Texas to fish at Toledo Bend for about four full days of fishing. Um, on the way down, we'll be stopping at Bass Pro Shop. If you, any of you guys watch Do Perfect, which I do, um, they actually shot their one of their latest videos. I think it was probably, I think that it was not their last one, but the one before that. Um, that was at the Bass Pro Shop. It's a shape like a uh, pyramid. So I'll be doing a vlog in there and probably a whole vlog down there or two vlogs, probably just one down there and then other vlogs. But other than that, um, I guess we can get into the unboxing. So we went to Gander Mountain and Cabela's about on Sunday to get supplies and equipment for Toledo Bend. Um, I won't spoil the next video, but... You'll see that, that I just made. So, um, most of the soft plastics that you'll see are from Gander, Gander Mountain, and then uh, most of the hard baits are from Cabela's. But some plastics are from Cabela's too, and some hard baits are from Gander Mountain. So, I'll point them out, or I'll show you where they're from, tell you where they're from. So, yeah. Um... First things first, I guess, we're going to be fishing in about 30 feet of water, so what we're going to be throwing is mostly soft plastics. That's what I mostly got with soft plastics. Um, so I guess the first bait that I'm going to be doing is kind of a combo that I'll just show you. It is going to be a jig and a trailer. I got a jig and got jigs and trailers. While I was at uh, Cabela's and Gander Mountain. But this one is a Berkeley Power Bait. Crazy Legs Tigger Craw. Right here. Here's, here, here it is in the package. Um, when you get it out, it is blue with a black flakes. Blue with black flakes. Um, this one looks really cool, in my opinion. Um... That one looks really cool. And here, I can throw this one as like a text rig too. But what I'll be throwing it mostly is a jig. Um, right here is the actual jig that I'll be throwing it with. I have another one of these. But this is also a black with blue, like black with blue tips on the skirt. Um, and this trailer is black and blue. So this, this two, these two uh, combine pretty good. So... This is a big bait for up north, but down south this would be just fine. And even up north this would be just fine. It would just be bigger bass you'll be catching. So, that's the first bait. Let's get rid of that one. Um, next, I just these are for around here mostly. But I might be throwing these down south. And this one also does have a combo. But this one is a hook. Um, okay, so this bait is a Zoom Super Fluke. Um, I'll be throwing this one down south a little bit. Not really that much, unless we're fishing up shallow, which we probably won't be doing because it's going to be... Well, actually, we might, since it's going to be spawned when we go down there. But, um, this bait is mostly for up north, up here. Because it is becoming spring. It's still winter technically. But there's, it's in like this 50, 60 degrees weather. So um, what I'm uh, pairing these up with is this. This one is a 4 rod Gamagatsu hook. This one I will be using up north and then down south in Texas. I'm going to be using this one. Also a four out hook. I forgot what brand it's from, but it just has uh, that its weight 
weighted with like weighted with lead. Um, this one is gonna look just normal because it's just a hook with weight. Oh, just realize that you're probably not gonna be able to do this the normal way, but I might figure out a way to do that. Okay, so forget about that. I'll try something else. But I got two packs of those. Just needed to stock up, kind of. Um, the next weight here we have is a gun from Berkeley, one of my favorite soft plastic bait, soft plastic brands. This one is just a trigger chicken craw in green. I mean, black with red flake. So this one can go on green or blue, I guess. But this one just doesn't have those extra long legs that come down right here. This one is just like a crawfish. Normal crawfish. I'll be putting that up with um, frog. I mean a uh, jig. Just a jig like this. This one already has a trailer on. But I can take that off right now. Okay, this is what I'll be pairing this one up with. This is actually a way smaller jig than I want. Oh, here. Here's one. Okay, I actually got these two, both at uh, Cabela's. And then the flukes I got again on along with that weighted hook that I'll probably be using in a little bit. But not on flukes, apparently. Oh, on, uh, I was going to use those for, like, I was going to use those for, uh, they're like a pedal tail swim bait. Forgot what they're called. But I'm just gonna show you what how I'm gonna pair these two up. I'm just gonna Texas rig this one as a trailer. Oh wait. Never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking today. First, I thought that a fluke could fit on a weighted hook when the weight's in the middle of the fluke. Okay, this is how you actually do this, by the way. So don't do what I just did. You actually just feed this on. Okay. There. Then you just have your normal jig like this. Like that. So that's how that's going to be going. Sorry it's taking so long. But that's how that's going to go. Um, now to the next bait, soft plastic. This one is just a 5 inch like Senko. But this one is pretty cool because it has a little ring. And this one's also going to be paired up with this one. I'm going to be using this on uh, wacky rigs and just like a normal Texas rig and other things like that. But this one is cool because it's specially designed for wacky rigs, but it, you can use it for other things. And why it's specially designed for that is because if you see that little lump right there, right about here, that is a little ring that you can just... Uh, put your hook into so you don't have to damage the bait itself so right there I have it on the around the ring and it's probably one of the best spots to have it too because it's a little it's really floppy but I don't know if that really matters I don't know if that's really part of it and this hook is like a two lock hook it has it has like a little bend you can see that's supposed to be there um, that's also um, one of the things. And then this one, I had missed twisters, crappie lures, but we're not actually going to be crappie fishing. Actually, we might, probably not. I was saying that because there might be crappies galore down there, but probably not. This one, I'm just going to use, Mr. Twisters, I'm just going to use, ow, oh, this has a sharp hook. This Cheddar Bay has a sharp hook. 
but as a chatterbait trailer, just in case this gets ripped up or some fish comes and eats it or rips it up, such as a pickerel. Because if you don't know, there's no northern down south. It's called pickerel, but they're less, way less common than northern up here. So now the next bait is this one. It is a six-inch blue and blue with black tail lizard. I'm going to be using this on a Carolina rig and Texas rig. Here they are. Um, a little fun fact that I usually like to follow is just if you, if you don't know the color of the lake, always go with a darker color such as black, dark blue, or like purple. Because other than that, other than that, lakes usually will have a certain color. But if you don't know, those colors will always be, uh, will always work. Probably not as good as that one. Probably not as good as uh, that certain color, but they will still work. And this one I showed you, uh, actually I haven't showed you yet because I just showed it in the other video. But this is just a uh, little toad thing. It's a, actually a beaver tail, or beaver, three inch. Green pumpkin colored. I'm gonna be using this set of trailer. This came in a little prize package or something that you'll see in the next video. But it also came with a little hook, as you can see right here. And it's weird because it has that little bend in the hook right there, right before the eyelet, which is probably just another thing to help keep the uh, thing on the hook. Even that's all they are really. And they might have something to do with the movement, but probably not. And the last soft plastic is this one. It is a uh, eight inch from Zoom, eight inch Magnum Magnum Lizard in watermelon red flake color. Um, this one, as I said, this one, or as I said before, uh, down south there's going to be a lot bigger fish, and an uh, eight inch salamander seems really big for up here. But down south, it will be just fine. Now moving on to the lures. Um, I got, as you saw, I got those jigs. I got a chatterbait in black and blue that they haven't shown you yet. But I got that. And then I have that green pumpkin jig and also that black and blue jig. And then the next, I got these for, for fishing deep. Uh, it's like... It's not quite a perch, but it's like a sh yellow, it's like a stained shad with stripes, I guess. I don't know exactly the color because I already unboxed this in a different video. But I had to delete that video, so, and I got rid of the boxes. But this one has a paddle tail, as you can see. And then it has weighted, it's, uh, front is weighted, so it'll be swimming like this in the water. And then last, but certainly, certainly not least. My probably favorite bait that I'm going to use is, uh, or probably the favorite bait that I got there is this one. This is a 6 inch shad swim bait. Um, this one, why I didn't get like an 8 inch or 10 inch or 12 inch swim bait is because I also want to try this up north too. And I don't want to go too big because I don't really have a rod for like 10 inch swim baits so this one is just fine it's it's not much bigger than this and it's certainly certainly not much heavier than this I mean it just has extra length but extra length equals extra movement and also it has grooves in the side and that's just more movement in the tail way more movement like look at my hand I'm not even moving it It's still wiggling. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, hope you like it. And uh, if you did, don't forget to don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to get your lines wet. See ya.